I think it's ready. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Zayden from Reap What You Sow Gardening. In this video, it's a very busy day here on the homestead. I've got a couple new plants I want to show you and the compost. I have very high suspicions that it is too done. It is like double baked spaghetti. I mean, it is very, very done. So let's do this. Let's get to work. First, I have the sprinkler system on. New irrigation. I don't get soaked. Yeah, gotta make it out alive. But got the irrigation on. All the flowers, everything's getting watered here. I got some new two burgundy mums. And also what I want to show you is right here in the garlic bed, the fall crop bed, I have new broccoli. And I'm going to fertilize it with some compost. And I'll have a high suspicion that it's compost is done. So I'm going to kink the hose line, move the sprinkler system to here, and then we'll water. Oh my god, I'm getting soaked. This phone is not waterproof. Okay, now we have to go to the rescue nursery because, well, we're going to have to remove these old plants and put some new plants in its place. So we'll do that. Let me cut off the water real quick and I'll see you then. So we have the water on here. Now I'm going to go ahead and wet down. You want to wet the soil before you remove these old plants. And yes, if you're wondering, yes, I am going to replant these. In the food forest I think it's some type of cosmos I'm highly sure because I have or maybe it's some type of um I forgot it looked the leaves look like cosmos leaves but I do have cosmos in the raised bed so we're just gonna go ahead and rip these out and don't worry about that these will come back year after year if we put them in the high tunnel so Make sure there's no ant beds in here, too, because when you're down here in North Carolina, there's usually a bunch of um, ant beds in pots and stuff. But these were up on a mailbox, so hopefully they did not get to this. But I'm just going to go ahead and douse the soil and douse that one, because you can never be too moist when it comes to getting rid of this. And I'll have to clean this off. Oh, this, this looks terrible. <laughs> Every day the weeds keep coming back. So, you just want to take them out, and don't worry, they won't dry out fast, because they're right in this, like, stream of water here. Now, I will go ahead and make sure that's moist, so we can put the new mums in. It's November 5th, they're going to be voting, so it's going to look nice over here. Make America great again. Ultra MAGA. Ultra MAGA. And to top it all off, let's go ahead and give the Italian bed some water. It's really Italian because you got the grapes, you got the eggplants, you got the tomatoes, you got the peppers. This is an Italian bed still. I was kind of skeptical because I was like, oh, is this not going to be Italian bed anymore? It still is. Now I'm going to be potting those flowers. Now. Okay, so now we're gonna be planting these yellow, beautiful yellow and snow white mums. And I'm very excited to do that. So as you can see, we come around to these pots, they're nice and saturated. There's the old. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the pot off like this and we're gonna loosen up some of these roots because it's very important to loosen them up or else it's just gonna get root bound in that pot and they don't like to be root bound they want to grow all around so now we're just gonna go ahead and take some soil out now don't be shy when you remove soil you'll also find things like this you know you got nuts and stuff from the squirrels bearing in there it's just all a mess but this mat of roots we can remove and insert the new mums into this pot 
very carefully. You'll lose a couple flowers when during the repotting process. That's fine. But you just want to make sure that that soil is nice and moist. Pack it down just like that. On the other side, put the soil in. Pack it around. And you have a beautiful yellow mum. Now we're going to do the same thing for the white mums as well. And so we're going to remove this massive roots right here. We have plain and dirt. Remove these roots. And if you're wondering, are these roots going to grow back? No, they're not. If the plant is removed, then they're dead. If they're a parasitic plant, like some types of orchids, then they might start to grow back. So, just remove this from the pot. Put this in. Oh, it's already starting to grow more shoots from it as well. Which is very good. That's what we want. So, I'm just going to pop this in. And put some soil around. Just like that. You never have too much soil when it comes to these. Because they love that. When the soil starts to dry out, make sure you just give it plenty of water. And your mums will be looking absolutely astonishing. Trust me. And there is our yellow and white mums. So we can get more shots of that. I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands in that water. So we just got done planting them. As you can see, lovely camera work. And hopefully they grow very perfectly and good. So if you want to plant your own mums this year, which I think we were pretty much far behind. But if you want to know how to plant mums for the first time or if you forgot, then just all you got to do is skip back if you left the room or something. Or went to the bathroom now you're just viewing this clip now I don't know but skip back to like a minute and you'll see me repotting those mums and that is absolutely beautiful and it'll look great near the mailbox it'll look great I'm turning into save it for parts and garden answer I don't know what is going on and maybe a little bit of Robbie strike and maybe a little bit of apple drains and maybe a little bit of deep south homestead and maybe a little bit of Bob's decline that power pole and maybe a little bit of catch them all fishing and maybe a little bit of self-sufficient me all right with all the youtube shout outs here <laughs> so let's get back to the new series now the composting we're gonna do so after this composting off camera i'm probably water the new broccolis and some of the garlic and yes you want to water after you compost so that Nutrients could seep in get a really good chance to seep into the soil So you don't really want to feed the plant in this case So you want to feed the soil which in turn feeds the plant so you're feeding that soil and those microbes and those Bacterias that in turn feeds the plant so you don't just want to feed the plant You want to feed the soil and the microbial life as well. So that's what we're gonna be doing So I got this can't you believe this? This is a curb find. Someone was throwing this out. A curb find wheelbarrow. And then we got the Zenny compost tumbler with, it looks like a um, rotting orange. Hmm. That's really creepy pasta for annoying orange. I can tell you that right now. Stocks with rice. We're just gonna go ahead and dump this if it does not get lodged. And be really careful. So we got the compost in. There is a little bit of mango seeds and all that, but look at this, guys. It is literally just fertilizer now. And we can sift through this. Don't worry about the ants. We can sift through this and turn this into nice fertilizer. Or we can just put it like this, but usually I'd sift through it if you're putting it in, like, seed punnets or pots for seedlings, but... This has all the food and bacteria you need for the plant, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the garden. So I'll see you then. And the bumpy ride kind of levels it out and shakes up the compost. 
in such permaculture right now. Hmm. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and do this. Just gonna grab and do a light sprinkle, uh, especially around the garlic. Do a thick mulching of this because garlic loves fertilizer. It loves food. So your food needs to eat food, proper food. So that's awesome. Actually, here's a fun fact. The plants eat the same diet that you eat. Probably because the composting you know, of the fruits and the vegetables. So it's technically an easier way of saying you have a thousand family members. You have a thousand plants. And garlic, just sprinkle around the garlic. Just like that. A little bit more around the broccoli. And that should be it. For here. Now let's put the fertilizer somewhere else. Now let's put these for the mum. So even the flowers need food. So really good. It's very good fertilizer, and it should help the plants do really nice. Now, I wish the compost bay was done, but we did that so late in the season that it'd take probably a year, months if not a year, to fully decompose those leaves. So. Yeah. If it's not in the direct sunlight, it's going to take so long. But if it's in direct sunlight, it's going to break down faster because of heat. And look at that. It looks like a mulch. And you can't tell me that don't look like a mulch. That is straight out of the compost tumbler. No stage. No jump, cu uh, jump cuts. But no fake shots. None of that. And yes, a viewer, a couple of viewers were telling me this might be Cosmos. I th I'm pretty sure it is Cosmos. But it also has kind of the same leaves as those plants that we were dipotting, re unpotting, or I guess you could say. But the yellow peppers, they're still making fruit, which is absolutely crazy. Now the tomatoes are still doing great. You come around to the beans, the kidney beans, growing nice pods. The pumpkins, everything is doing absolutely phenomenal in the garden. And then don't forget, we have another pumpkin by the greenhouse forming. And look at the, even the fig tree. It's such a great shape too. Now the orange bell peppers are doing absolutely astonishing as well. They're making peppers a couple weeks, you know, it's going to end October. Or actually like almost one week. October is going to end until November, and look at them. They're still making. And this is not even in the greenhouse. I bet you those jalapenos are going to make all the way to February, and they're going to steep kills. They're going to still keep growing. Everything's doing great in the garden. Now, the okra, it's, it's, it's going. It is not the time for it at all. At all. The okra has got to be going anyway. Now, the banana peppers, however, they are still putting flower buds on, which is astonishing. The sweet potatoes, I got two spinny sweet potatoes from it, but it's, it's all good. You can bake them, do whatever you want. It's absolutely heaven on earth when you have your own sweet potatoes. And this raised bed, I'm pretty sure I should be harvesting them because look at the leaves. Now, there's no flower buds, but, you know, these leaves are rotting off. This is probably prime time for harvesting these because these were supposed to be harvested a long time ago and now we got to harvest them. I'm going to be filming a video probably later today because I'm pretty sure it's over 125 days because these were in here for like six to even seven months. So I'm pretty sure they got to be harvested. The oregano, everything's doing fine. Everything's looking great. The tomato is turning into a tree, which I'm pretty sure is good. That is the new gourd trellis, and I already have the um, thing here for it next year so I can assemble it. But I'm pretty sure that this design doesn't require that because it can just vine up these poles and go down and make like a lattice pattern. So I'm pretty sure I don't even require that at all. Um... Everything's doing fine. I wonder what you 
You're probably wondering what were those creatures in the greenhouse? Good question. Now those are crayfish. Now we got those crayfish and anytime we have, you know, worms or maybe even mosquito larvae, these things go to town. They will absolutely eradicate any problems of worms or anything that you have. It will absolutely destroy them. It is absolutely crazy. And then we have them over here. Crazy. We got the tank going on. And we'll go ahead and shut this lid so no mosquitoes start going in. And the strawberries doing good. Everything's doing great. We have the tomatoes, which might overwinter. The jalapenos are starting to put on a bushel almost. Avocado is coming back. And for those who say, oh, you can't grow um, avocados, grow a pawpaw tree, grow a pawpaw tree, grow a pawpaw tree. 10,000 years later says the same thing. Um, no, you can, you can definitely grow these in North Carolina, even in Zone 7B. Okay, these will grow forever, in my opinion, if you put them in a greenhouse. As soon as I put them in here, they started growing like it was summer again. I swear, guys. The orange tree looks great now. They don't have to be really pruned until they get very big, but this tree is self-pruning, even though it's like a wild variety because it was grown from seed. And they say, oh, you can't grow oranges from seed. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. You're wasting so much time. I can grow these from seed. I don't really care as long as they taste good. I'll keep them if they taste bad. I don't care, they're still a plant and I'll keep them. As long as they have nothing to do with poison ivy plants, I'll keep them. Or pawpaws. I never tried them, but I'm sick and tired of hearing about them. Here is a beautiful rotting tomato that or I'm going to save for seed. And I don't know why I was watering it. I mean, that's just giving it more juice. This over here is another one. You can literally just burst them. In a pot, and it'll come up. The cucumber, I guess a seed or something blown into this pot. No, oh, look, there's a lemon tree. I guess it blown in this pot, and now we have um the last cucumber vine of the year. And it's growing. <laughs> it's growing. It's putting flowers on in almost November. Guys, when you grow your own food, you never know what is going to happen. It is like miracles over here in the what you sow gardening. A.K.A. Toad Creek Homestead, Toad Creek International, Toad Creek Broadcasting System. Channel 254, TCBHD Favorite, American Dead, Rated TV 14, 10 p.m. to 12 a.m., playing live. I don't know what the crap that was about. Um, here is the strawberries. I got a couple seeds from peppers in here, trying to grow them like that. And everything's doing nice. We have a pumpkin which I think is pretty much trying to take a hold of this. Ever since you water the heck out of these, they do not stop growing. It is almost, it is absolutely beautiful. The fan, the greenhouse blower, heat blower, it's not, it runs, but I'm not turning it on because you only turn it on in the spring and summer. In early fall as well. You don't really turn it on right now because it's pretty cool out. No one needs that fan running, and no one needs a drill battery who ran out of power. So, sorry about the mess in the yard. I mean, I say that all the time because I'm always doing something. I got, like, cable lines down. I got satellites. I got tools and stuff. And this is my car now because the bike, which we all know and love, tire just ominously blew out. I don't know what happened to it. So I'm going to have to figure out how I'm supposed to repair that now. So now I have to drive this thing. Um, embarrassing now. I look like a hobo. Hobo. Don't get any ideas. Now, if you guys like oh, technology, if you like televisions and satellites and stuff, go check out my other channel, Dish500Guy, and the new third channel, which is 
specifically for Dish 500 Guy viewers, which is Time Warner Guy 13. Right now, it's just called Cable Now. I gotta change the name later on because I thought it was just gonna be straight for cable. But we'll we'll upload the same stuff and trying to push it to there, like a backflow, like a backwash channel, just so we get like the backwash from Dish 500 Guy onto the Time Warner Guy 13. So. If you're interested in satellites and television stuff, go ahead and check that channel out. And the pumpkin is right over here. Looks great. And there's the spider web. Of course, there's spider webs. You can't walk anywhere without there being spider webs in your face in North Carolina. It is like it is like the state flag of freaking spider. I swear the state. But beautiful pumpkin. It sounds like World War Three is going on on this roof. The acorns are dropping. Weird stuff is happening all the time at this place. This is like straight out of a, a movie. Weird stuff is happening. This tree, I kid you not, you probably you'll probably think I'm lying when I say this, and you'll probably start laughing as soon as I say this. This tree is not even one years old. I guess you can call it like seven months old, this tree. And look how tall it is. It's tall as the Time Warner wire up on that pole. That's how tall this is. Look at this tree. It was an Empress Oxy tree. Are we going to cut it back? Yes, we'll probably next year cut it to here. Um, you know, because you know, you never want this thing. You actually, it might even cut it to here because <laughs> I am not cut. I'm not having some deranged storm. Knock out my Time Warner or my power line and then have this thing glowing like a Christmas tree on the line. I'm not doing that, guys. I mean, I am i don't know about you, but I, I really don't want my power going out. Even though I have a generator, I really don't want my power going out or my Time Warner cable. So, yeah. Oh, it's going for back to them. Yeah, I still call it what they were originally called. Fight me. But the oxy tree that was over here, or the empress tree, I did cut that back because this thing is a little bit too close to the well. And I don't know about you, but I don't want this thing interrupting with my well lines and busting something, and then I gotta get it replaced. I'm not doing that. I really want water, and I really want to take a shower and cook food with water. So I'm not really not, I really... Yeah. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this very strange, kind of weird POV video. If you did, give it a nice day in a life thumbs up, daily that thumbs up button, and that subscribe button. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And make sure you get early voting and November 5th voting. I'm going to say this in all these videos until November 5th. So I hope you're going to vote early or vote on November 5th. Vote on or by November 5th so we can get this country up and running again, get everything fixed, because the future, we don't know what's going to go on. So hopefully this country gets fixed. Hopefully everything goes back to normal again. Gas prices, electric prices, vehicle prices, plant prices, seed prices, and living prices. Because also talk about Duke Power, Duke Energy, $50 to run a freaking street lamp. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's no way. You need to see. This is. This will save your life. If you get into an accident, you can't see. You have to have a street light. Why do you need to cost fifty dollars for a freaking old street light with spider nests in it? Why do you have to cost fifty dollars? That was in 2021. I mean, talk about it now. Gosh, it, it just won't stop. <laughs> it just won't stop. <laughs> it just won't stop. Thank you for watching, and as always, keep on growing.